In the last video, we looked at how uh, electronic braille may have some advantages over paper braille uh, when connected to electronic devices like laptops running JAWS or even iPads running voiceover and so on. Um, one of the advantages, of course, of using electronic braille over paper braille is the productivity. You can use the search functions on the computer to find phrases very quickly and the, paper, uh, the braille will follow that instantly. The second advantage, of course, using Braille directly with the document is that uh, as you find mistakes, you can directly edit them. And mistakes are going to be more transparent in Braille than they would be if you were just listening to the computer with JAWS. So, for example, in English, we often have confusable words or homophones. They sound the same, but they're spelled differently. A Braille reader will pick up uh, those confusable words straight away. Uh, so words like where, W-E-A-R, uh, or W-H-E-R-E, -E, and so on, they'll instantly be obvious to a Braille reader, but to somebody listening just with audio, with JAWS audio, uh, they may uh, miss that. So with electronic Braille displays like the, um, like the, the Focus 40 here, um, we have the ability to see directly the, um, the connection between the document and the uh, the uh, the braille. So here, let's try and get this in focus. Here we go. I'm reading here with my fingers here the equivalent of the the line on the computer. In this case, online scenarios. If I use the navigation key here to move down one line then uh, the Braille will instantly follow. So for those of you that can read Braille, there's instructions. As I go down one more line, um, it will change instantly to reflect the line that I'm moving through. I can actually make a correction by, as I'm feeling across, I can move up to the, the, the cursor routing key, and that will bring my cursor to that word. And if I wish to, I could actually correct either with the Perkins keys here, or with the computer keyboard, I could make a correction. So if I was just to put a few A's in, I could do this just by a, 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 a. just by uh, tapping them in through the keys there, um, or I could use the a, back, a, 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 backspace a, key a. to correct like that. So I don't actually need to go to the computer keyboard. I can make corrections directly in the document um, uh, with the, uh, the the six keys across the top here. I can also navigate through the document using combinations of keys. Another powerful function, of course, I can do is the uh, the Control F for search. Control I'll use, F. I'll use the keyboard for this, uh, but I could equally have used the JAWS combination on the the Focus Forty. And so, if I'm looking L. for a particular, if I'm looking for a particular navigation L word, let's say I'm looking for the word uh, uh, animal. A N I M A. For each scenario presented in this assessment, you are required to make two to three recommendations. And of course, JAWS is hearing that and uh, reading out the, the, the found uh, phrase. And I can also see this in the, in the Braille display as well. So this is an example of where using electronic Braille with uh, ordinary applications like Microsoft Word, or it could be Excel, it could be the internet, we can actually uh, find phrases and actually interact dynamically with the electronic document. And if you compare that to the scenario where you have paper braille, it's static. To reproduce that document, you would have to um, take the document to a braille printer, and that will take a long time to reproduce the, uh, the document in paper braille, um, all of which makes it difficult to operate in a spontaneous and productive way.